looking at what we're wrapping up in 2013 and an outlook for 2014. So we're going to be covering you know, some key industry changes in 2013, looking at some pretty neat studies that can kind of affect the market for 2014. So I'm going to go ahead and roll right into some upcoming webinars, and then we'll get into uh, you know, the real content of today's call. Uh, as usual, we have a lot of great upcoming webinars. You're on our GoToMeeting webinar right now. Every call is recorded. So today's call will be posted to the YouTube channel this afternoon. We have some great upcoming webinars for this week. Tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern time, we're actually having a training on North American software, uh, which is actually co-sponsored by North American. They're going to go through the Index Universal Life products. They're going to show you how to run illustrations, uh, even show you how to take withdrawals and loans out of policies so you can create that tax-free retirement sales scenario for your clients. Again, that is at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Shortly thereafter, we have another webinar through Phoenix Life on their Remembrance Final Expense product. That is at 1 p.m. That is a very unique final expense product that actually has critical illness, accelerated benefits, free of charge in a whole life policy. Uh, it's a very, very unique product. It's actually issued up to age 80. That is at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. So if you're in that final expense marketplace, or looking for more information on what type of product to use to break into that, that is a great webinar to attend, again, at 1 p.m. Eastern. And then at 2 p.m. Eastern, we have an overview of our e-policy delivery platform. That will actually show you how to receive your policies electronically, as well as allowing your clients to actually accept policies through their email. So once that policy gets issued, they can go to their email account, they can view that policy. The great thing about that e-delivery platform is it actually allows you to place policies the same day that they're issued. So we're not, not having to wait for snail mail. We can actually accelerate that whole policy cycle timeline. That's going to save you about one and a half to two weeks per policy. So it'll actually help you write more business because you have less time lag between delivering those policies. Next Monday, which is the 23rd, we have a repeat of that e-delivery platform, which is at 2 p.m. Eastern. And then Thursday, actually the day after, after Christmas, we have an overview of the Fidelity Life product. That's at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. And then at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, we're actually going over the VBA accident product. Um, that's an accident product that you can issue. It's guaranteed issue. All clients will actually receive that policy again at 2 p.m. Eastern. And you can actually go to carrylevinson.com, look at our training calendar to register for any one of these webinars. Again, you can view our YouTube channel, which is if you go to YouTube, you can type in Levinson. And then the number one, you'll have access to about 60 plus videos, which are all of our webinar recordings. Upcoming for 2014, we have an annual expo every single year. Uh, in 2014, the date is March 28th, which is a Friday. Uh, basically, the whole focus of the annual expo is to talk about upcoming sales ideas for 2014. So it's kind of an extension of uh, today's call in particular. But we go over new carrier niches, new sales ideas. We have top carriers and underwriters in from all across the country. As you can see from the pictures, it is at a beautiful South Florida resort in Deerfield Beach, smack on the ocean. Um, for all of the local agents and any agents in the country, it is free to attend. One thing that we do every single year is we tie in a incentive contest for agents that aren't in South Florida to be able to come down and, and meet us in person and, and meet the agency and really see what we're all about. Uh, as you can see, the first level there, if you hit $15,000 in paid premium from the start qualification period of 8-1 all the way to the end of February 2014, you get one free night at that beachfront resort. For level two, that's 40000 in paid premium. That gets you airfare plus the free night at that beachfront resort. And for level three, 50000 in paid premium. It's round-trip airfare from anywhere in the U.S., plus two free nights at that resort. So especially if you're a new producer, if you want to take a trip down to Florida, uh, at the end of March, it's a great time of year, and that's certainly an event that I don't think um, anyone should miss because a lot of great things that happen at that meeting. And again, we discuss what's happening, what's new for 2014. You will walk away with some excellent sales ideas, and it really will impact uh, your practice as a whole. So today's uh, webinar, just to recap, we're going to be going over a review of 2013. We're going to talk about product changes, changes in the economy, uh, how that's affected consumer trends and demographic changes, 
Uh, we're also going to look at certain trends in the industry that we need to be aware of to really anticipate what type of changes as a producer or agency you're going to have to make to actually be successful in the coming year. Uh, then at the end, we're going to talk about the big picture to success, what agents have done in the past, what you should be focusing on to really increase your sales and production as we move into the new year. And a lot of this information uh, is, has been gathered from a lot of research during 2013, not only on products, but also on consumers and, and what those trends are. Uh, so I want to first start with a look back at 2013. You know, we had a lot of things happen in 2013. I won't get into all the intricacies, uh, but basically the beginning part of 2013, a lot of carriers realized a very, very low interest rate environment. And that scared a lot of insurance carriers. It caused them to roll back several products, several guarantees that they had. We saw a lot of carriers limiting the amount of single premium we could put into a universal life product because they were worried about what type of guarantee they could actually give to that client down the road. So that's when we all kind of really started to, to take a look at the industry as a whole. And it's very important to realize that the days of, of, of having a product name behind you and a flashy business card um, and just using that alone to get in front of clients, those days are gone. There has to be some sort of unique hook, some sort of unique product or sales platform that you're going to have to use, not only with your existing clients, but also to reach new consumers. And we'll get into a couple of slides that talk about the statistics and the research and how you can really position yourself for 2000, 2014. So a couple of things that we did as an agency to kind of uh, you know, trend with 2013 and get ready for 2014, uh, I've actually listed some bullets below here. One thing that I thought was pretty unique, it was the first time it was ever done. Uh, we actually assisted in the first ever U.S. patent for an e-policy delivery platform. Now, I mentioned those training webinars uh, on Monday of next week and uh, tomorrow where we talk about that e-policy delivery platform. And the life insurance industry has always been a little bit behind in comparison to the P&C world and the health industry when it came to technology. So all that is kind of starting to change. So this is very, very exciting. Like I mentioned with that e-policy delivery platform, you can now get the policy issued from the carrier and that very same day deliver it electronically to the client. You know, that's kind of new to the industry. Uh, I, I don't think it's something that you want to be scared of. I think we have to embrace that because it's really where everything else is trending, especially as we look at some of the statistics in a couple slides about you know, the, the consumer trends to be using the web and, and online platforms for almost everything that they do. In addition, drop tickets and e-applications have really revolutionized the way that we submit business. As of right now, 60% of every single one of our carriers in our portfolio, we've got about 46 different carriers, have e-applications. That is up 20% from last year. So as we can see, those clients are using e-applications and those carriers are developing those solutions for that client to be able to use an e-application. That trend obviously is going to keep moving forward. It's going to keep getting better and better when it comes to the ease that we can submit an application. And of course, from an agent's perspective, that makes things very, very easy, very, very straight through processing for those e-applications. Another thing that we did here was we developed the scholarship marketing platform. If you haven't looked at that scholarship program, it's a great marketing platform to get in front of more clients and really give your clients something that your competition can't. Uh, we started in 2012 with just five products eligible for that scholarship platform. At the end of this year, we're up to 17 products, so we have over 300% increase from last year, and the college retention rate has been 100%. So we've got about 317 colleges for 2013. Moving into 2014, I expect we'll probably be at least about 325 to 330 by mid-2014. Again, if you haven't used that scholarship marketing platform, you can go to carrylevinson.com and actually look at all the marketing flyers, all the marketing material that is available. We also updated the free agent website that we provide to agents. Uh, you know, we've had the free agent website for a couple of years. Uh, we've integrated a client e-application. So not, when I go into a couple slides from now about having an online presence, you can have one of the best agent websites that's available. Again, it's free to sign up. There's quote engines on there. There's health analyzers. It helps you have that online presence without really spending a lot of time or money getting it up and running. And we're going to talk about why that's so important in a couple slides. 
Uh, we also developed a mortgage lead program for this year. Uh, we actually started at the end of 2012. The mortgage lead program has actually been extremely successful. Uh, we have a separate webinar scheduled to go over that in the new year. And what we'll do is after today's phone call, we'll send out an email with all the material we cover. Included in that will be the last webinar on that mortgage lead program. For 2013, we did receive the Brokerage Partner of the Year Award, which basically uh, recapped a lot of the technology platforms that we've pioneered, especially the iGenius platform. That platform was featured in Insurance Newsnet Technology Issue, which was actually just in November of this year. And my next slide is a screenshot of that actual article. So the whole purpose behind the iGenius platform and, and what this article really tries to get across is this iGenius platform revolutionizes the way that an agent's doing business. It takes a lot of the technology that's available today that wasn't being used formally in the insurance marketplace, and it makes it available to you as an agent. So that means you don't have to go out and spend a lot of money on an agent website or how to use different e-applications. Uh, we are here to hold your hand throughout that entire process, whether it be using the Levinson app to run a quote uh, and then doing a over-the-phone drop ticket with that client uh, or using our CRM platform or email marketing tool to really stay in front of your client. So that article, again, that will be emailed out at the end of today's phone call. Of course, we want to talk about economic changes and how that's really changed the industry. And I put a diagram in this next slide here, which I thought was very, very interesting. This talks about life insurance and annuity products in 2013. Uh, we can look at the revenue and the profit, and I think one thing that's very, very important to understand is that things weren't always so great in the last couple of years. The annual growth for that life and annuity industry was actually down 1.2%. We're seeing that rebound at the end of 2013. The projected annual growth is about 3.4%. So that's good news. Um, and of course, we always are a little skeptical of good news. We want to make sure that we, you know, we're not going to be able to sit back uh, in the chair and, and kind of let things run on autopilot. We have to always constantly change to make things better. And that's really where our focus is going to be for 2014. So I'm going to get into some statistics and some, some sales ideas to kind of position us in 2014 where we really need to be to be successful. Uh, one of the biggest things that we learned in 2013, especially towards the end of the year, is there a, is a large disconnect between clients' understanding of the need for retirement and the insurance products and their failure to take action. So if you poll the majority of, of the U.S. population, they'll understand that having products for retirement and having products uh, to protect certain risks is very, very important, but a lot of the time, those clients don't take the necessary actions to purchase those products and to put any type of plan in place. So the big question is, how can we as agents or producers make that connection? How can we make those clients act on what they already know is something they should actually be doing? And the answer, I feel, is knowing what demographic groups want to hear. And what I mean by that is, when you look at a specific group or a specific demographic, you want to make sure that your sales presentation is actually catered to that specific group. Because keep in mind, if we're talking to a 65 or a 70-year-old client, that sales presentation is going to be much different than if we're talking to someone in their mid-40s who maybe has a couple children and are currently in their peak earning years. So we need to be able to understand those demographic trends and how that is going to affect that sales presentation. One thing that we heard at the end of 2012 and going into 2013 was talking about all the baby boomers and, and 10,000 baby boomers term age 65 every single day. And a lot of producers saw those numbers and said, well, I'm just going to focus on final expense. And a lot of them have done very, very well. What's coming out now, especially looking at this graph on the slide, we're looking at per capita disposable income and the median age of the population. So the real push, the real opportunity is the wave of consumers behind the boomers. They're the new focus. They're going to be in the upcoming years where a lot of that premium is going to come from. So Generation X consumers are entering those years in their life where they're actually earning the peak income. And if you look at this chart, those Generation X consumers make up about 40% of the workforce. So those are those clients that have those disposable income 
and have more of a risk to be able to uh, market to and be able to sell to. That is extremely important as we understand what type of sales trends we need to be aware of going into the new year. And one thing that I'll share is the opportunity with the Generation X consumers is about $3.6 trillion. What I mean by that is that is the gap between the current insurance levels and what they actually need. So when we understand that that Generation X has a huge opportunity for us as agents to go in and sell products and protect the families, we need to understand how do we reach those clients? How do we modify that sales, uh, you know, sales presentation and what we're doing to reach those type of clients? And the answer is to go where those consumers are, which is the web. And it makes sense when you really think about it, especially if you're not in that Generation X. If you're researching a product or, or researching what you're going to purchase, the first thing you do is you go online and you do research about it. Uh, the great thing about the Internet is you're in control of that research process, and that allows clients to be educated when they want to be educated and where they want to be educated. This diagram uh, that is on your screen right now talks about the profile of Generation X mobile users. So that specific marketplace I was talking about, Generation X, they make up about 30.7% of all Americans that are using smartphones. Uh, and if you look at the amount of smartphone usage in the country, it is staggering. How many people use smartphones and the percentage of those people are the generation extras that we're going to be marketing to. So in order to kind of play into that mindset of them having all the information at their fingertips when it's available, we need to be able to become part of that environment where that sale is most likely to take place. And one of the things I want to touch on, uh, which you'll see at the bottom of the slide, is something that's on our radar for 2014. It is an agent tool that will keep your name in front of that client and actually allow you to instantly communicate with that client on a much easier basis than we have in the past. And my next slide will cover the Me Again application uh, and we'll go into a little bit of, of what that product entails and how it can help you as a producer. Thank you, Joe. Also, I want everyone to know that all of these uh, statistics and, and graphs that you're looking at are all from LIMRA and, and NALBA uh, facts and statistics booklet. So everything is 110% uh, correct. Um, and like Joe was saying, <clears throat> it's very important moving into 2014 that you must know the basics around the Internet. Um, you must know how to set up a policy using an e-application and electronic policy delivery. And it's not for every type of client. But I, I believe, and I think uh, Joe believes, and, and everyone here at Levinson believes, that the trend is going in an upwards direction to where more and more prospects, they don't want to be seen at the kitchen table. Okay, what they would like is a quick quote, okay, either through email or via smartphone, and then literally to sign up through a five-minute call with an e-application. That's what most of the clients prefer now and moving into the future, and that's a, a, a fact. So you, I'm not saying for you know, your $10 million estate planning universal life case, but for your smaller mortgage term, disability, critical illness type stuff, it's one, two, three. It's very, very simple, and you're going to find that's more and more common in the industry. <clears throat> so with that said, at Levinson, we feel that we can't just sit back on, on our iGenius platform and say, you know what, what we have is light years ahead of our competition, and we're very happy with that, and, and that, that shows the value by working with Levinson. No, it doesn't stop there, and we get that. So we're out there trying to make things better and easier for all of our agents in the industry. And with that said, we have helped develop an app called Me Again. And we're going to have a webinar, okay, with a real-life agent that's going to be on the webinar training next month. Um, but we wanted to give you a little sneak peek of what's in store for all of the Levinson agents. So the app is called Me Again. And, and what's so neat about this, if you're working any type of lead program, okay, if you're working our mortgage leads or you're working your own lead program, it doesn't really make a difference. But what this app does, it's kind of like a, a CRM tool okay for your smartphone it keeps all of your prospects and clients in one easy place that you can retrieve at any time okay it has a scanner 
that let's just say you're at a seminar or you're at maybe a networking event and you have 25 business cards that people are handing you, okay? What this allows you to do is literally take a picture with your phone, you hit submit, and all of that information gets uploaded behind the scenes by a human, okay? And it goes back into your app and all of the information is at your fingertips and you can throw away that business card. And then you can either put together your own letter or use one of our pre-populated letters that we put together just for our agents. And in other words, let's just say you're at this networking event, you have these 25 business cards and you scan every one of them, which takes seconds. Okay, so now you have 25 new contacts that were from the, uh, let's just say the J. Alexander's dinner networking event. Now every one of those 25 new prospects gets an automatic email from you with a letter that says, hey, dear John, this is Bill Levinson, the life insurance agent you met at uh, J. Alexander's networking event. And just uh, an FYI, I handle all life insurance, long-term care, critical illness, disability. If you ever need anything, my contact info is below, as well as my Facebook link, my LinkedIn link, and my Twitter link. Okay, It sends this out without you doing anything. And then you can set up an automatic letter that goes out every six months. Okay, Now you have your new J. Alexander's dinner folder that you can go back into at any time. Okay, So it's just a really neat way for you to follow up on everyone that you meet. It's a neat way to organize all of your, all of your business cards for clients, for prospects. could even be for, for clients that you've already sold. It doesn't make a difference. Just picture like a, a one-stop shop dashboard with all of your clients and prospects in one spot. And I love this for leads. Let's just say you, you, you buy a batch of 10 leads. Okay, It has a rapid fire system to where you press one button and you scan every one of those leads into a new folder. We'll call it the uh, December uh, 17th uh, uh, lead folder Okay, and, or your December lead folder. And now you can send out an email to all of those new leads saying, hey, I'm Bill Levinson, the mortgage lead protection expert, and I'll be calling you within 24 hours, and then boom, every single month they get an update from you. Okay, And it tells you about follow-ups and, and, and who is off the contact list, who is on the contact list, and it's very easy to use. That was the key when we helped put this together, is we needed it to be simple, because if we knew there was too many steps, then agents wouldn't take the minute to use the system. So long story short, you're going to see this uh, launching in one month, okay? And we're going to we have a special Levinson Co-op deal that we put together um, with you and the makers of the Me Again app. So this is going to be really neat stuff to help you stay up to where you need to be for 2014 as far as technology goes. So great stuff there. We're really really excited about that. We have some other neat tools. Let me just mention one other thing before we move on to products and, and markets. Uh, we also have, uh, going along with, with what we're talking about today, we have a new product that we're launching in March at our, at our Levinson Expo. But what I love about this new product is it's a mortgage term product, okay, that you have an answer within 24 hours, no blood, no urine. Um, you can go 15, 20, 30 years to tie in with a mortgage, and you can go up to 150000 no exam. The best part is there's zero agent involvement, okay? What that means is if you have a website, okay, or let's just say you want to send out an email blast to a 1,000 prospects, you can literally put the link inside of your email blast or take this link and put it on your website, and a client can click on the link, run a quote, sign up in less than five minutes, hit submit, and get an approval email within 24 hours all while you did nothing. Okay? You just got an email that said, hey, Bill Levinson just bought a term policy. He was approved last night at 11.15 p.m. And then the client gets the policy delivered within one week. So that is the kind of technology that we're going to start to see. And we have our own exclusive product that we're launching in March. So everyone on the call, of course, will be a part of that as well. So great stuff there. Okay, Joe's going to talk about products and market share. Joe? Thanks, Bill. Um, so on my next slide here, we're going to go over some other statistics to kind of help us understand 
where the marketplace was in 2013 and, and kind of how it's trending for 2014. I thought one statistic in particular was very, very impressive. Uh, and this is looking at the whole life insurance industry as a whole, the independent agent channel, which is every single one of us that's on the phone call now and, and all the other independent agents in the country accounted for 78% of the whole life insurance industry's first year and single premium life sales. So that is uh, a great number. It really shows us that the independent agent is really making the majority of the insurance sales in the industry. And it's something that I think is only going to continue to grow as far as the independent agent's market share in the overall industry. So let me, let me say one thing, too. My father in, in the late 60s and, and very early 70s was a general manager for MetLife. Obviously, he was captive. And back then, the market share between the independent channel and the captive side was about 40 to 60, okay? About 40% was independent. So to now see 78% on the independent channel, that is huge. And that just goes to show you that everyone on the call and all of our agents and us are in the right marketplace moving forward. Because in my opinion, that number is only going to get higher and higher. As we all know, the captive side is fizzling out as we speak. Okay, Joe. Absolutely. So uh, if we look at the overall premium market share by product type, Universal Life actually made up about 41% of all sales in 2013. And Whole Life is just 33%. Now, Whole Life actually is up. 3% from last year, uh, but of course, Universal Life and Index Universal Life uh, were some of the most popular products written. Of course, a lot of that is due to those guarantees and that low premium cost. Another thing I want to mention is index annuities are up 9.9% over the last years. Uh, the last year, and index annuities actually make up more than half of all fixed annuity business. And that's especially important to understand that clients are picking those products that have that guaranteed floor in them. And of course, they're very skeptical of the trends in the economy, uh, losing their principal, which is why a lot of those indexed annuity products were purchased in 2013. OK, thank you, Joe. All right, I'm sure we have all heard by now living benefit riders, long-term care riders, critical illness riders. And, and, and the bottom line here is we're all going to see more and more products with these built-in living benefit riders. Some carriers don't charge for them. Other carriers do charge a, a, a small portion of the premiums. Um, but we're going to see this more and more. And what I love about this, and, and this is great for our agents, is you can go out there. If you have a big book of business, okay, in the past, Typically, you've had to write, let's say, a universal life product or a term product, and then maybe you had to sell a separate long-term care policy or a, sep a separate critical illness or cancer policy to kind of tack on to that life insurance policy. Well, what we're seeing now, especially the last six months, is a lot of carriers okay, are taking their universal life or indexed UL or even term, and they're adding these living benefit riders onto the standalone insurance chassis, which is great because like I said, you can go back to your book and say, hey, you bought the old type of life insurance that you're, you actually had to die for your beneficiary to receive the death benefit. The new type of life insurance in today's world, yes, of course it's going to pay a death benefit when you die and your spouse is going to get uh, the tax-free amount of insurance. Okay, but. Also, while you're alive, the policy is also going to pay. If you have a, a critical illness, heart attack, stroke, um, if you're confined to a, a, a nursing home, whatever the case is, this policy is going to pay while you're alive, and it's going to pay while you're dead. So that's a huge plus, OK? Because again, that allows you to go back to your book and say, hey, I need to talk to you about the new kind of life insurance that pays while you're alive. So that is a huge plus and door opener, in my opinion. And we're only going to see this more and more. In fact, North American now has a built-in living benefit rider that is no extra charge to the client, and they haven't raised premiums. So that's a, a huge plus. And then, of course, Transamerica now has living benefit riders that's available on their fully underwritten and simplified issue term. So a huge plus there as well. I'm going to talk about a few 
bullets here, but you really, really need to get up to speed with living benefit riders and the new type of life insurance that pays while you're still alive. The second half of 13 revealed strong competition among carriers with living benefit products and generated strong products to address death benefit, critical illness, and chronic illness claims. Long-term care and critical illness policies have lacked traction, and as a result, the living benefit segment of the industry has more than tripled in the last couple of years, growing to $2.5 billion industry. And of course, we all know on the long-term care side of things, premiums are going up. Underwriting is getting harder and harder, and carriers are discontinuing LTC standalone products. So again, this is a great story to tell because you can now sell a 20-year term with an LTC rider with Genworth or an indexed UL with a real standalone LTC rider with Genworth as well. So we have some great pluses here. As you see, those are the carriers that now offer these awesome living benefit riders. New product development continues and the focus becomes self-protection because clients have learned about the dependability of employer and government plans the hard way. What I suggest is, and you can do this at any time, is call me, Joe, Josh, Deborah, and we can get you up to speed with all of these new products with living benefit riders. Okay, Joe. Thanks, Bill. So my next slide here talks about the big picture, how we can take all the statistics and all the information and really what we need to come away from this presentation knowing, and that really is we need to target consumers where they're most likely to find you as an agent. So having that online presence along with traditional marketing methods is only going to help you prospect, help you find more clients and increase your market share. And it makes sense. If you think about the way agents advertised in the past, a lot of it was printing mailers, mailing those out, getting them in front of clients, uh, putting an ad in a newspaper or a brochure. And all those are very, very effective. But if you look at the demographic slides that we just covered and the percentage of Americans that read those and, and look at those newspaper articles and, and will read that magazine versus the amount of clients that are online, that are on their smartphones, that are on Facebook, if you only do one of those marketing efforts or one of those marketing segments, you're only reaching a certain percentage of those consumers. So to be able to reach the majority of clients, which are using a completely different media source, you have to get into the other marketplace. So we definitely recommend using an agent website. One great example is insprofessional.com, which is a website we've created to help you create your own agent website. There are about 13 different email templates on there, 13 different designs, including Flash. You can design your website in probably less than two to three hours. It's very simple. It's a turnkey platform. You can turn it on. All you have to update is your email address, your phone number, and it literally can run for you from day one. Or if you want to get a little more technical, you can add pictures on there. You can get as involved or easy as you want with that platform. The next thing that we definitely recommend is a must is a CRM platform or email marketing tool to keep your name in front of your clients. And a great example, uh, you know, Bill always uses the example of if he goes to the movie theaters and, and, he, and he sees a movie, he's going to get an email that next week letting him know about the new releases coming out for the next weekend. You know, if we think about all the emails we get in, and how everyone collects your email address, whether you buy something online or you go to your doctor's office or your dentist, everything is becoming automated with the technology platforms. And that's how we have to think prospecting to those clients. Because the key thing you need to know is if you're not using those additional market segments and platforms to keep your name in front of your clients, someone else is going to do that. and They're going to actually get your market share and go after your clients. Uh, also, a social media presence is key. That will increase your online presence. We have a social media guide which walks you through LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter. That will be sent out after today's phone call. One thing I want to touch on before I go to the next slide is if we look at going over all the different demographics and the consumer trends, the average age of an insurance producer is 56. And statistically, the majority of insurance sales are made peer-to-peer. So there's a huge disconnect there between the environment that the average agent will work with and those consumers that are earning 40% of that workforce. So we need to kind of change the way things are, are being sold, the way that we're operating, the way that we're running our business to be able to get a larger market share. So of course the big question becomes, 
how do you create more market share, how do you do all these things that you need to do uh, without sacrificing all your time and being able to have time to allocate to sell to those clients? And the answer is using that iGenius platform that we've created. So the iGenius platform was developed as a turnkey system to help you transition into these new markets and transition into that marketplace, especially for 2014, without having to pay large out-of-pocket expenses to use those platforms. And we understand that if all these platforms cost you thousands and thousands of dollars a year, you're most likely not going to use them because, honestly, that's a very, very large overhead to use. So our platform has always been giving you access to all these cutting-edge tools without you having to come out of pocket for them because we know that's going to make you more successful. So I've just highlighted a couple key bullets here. The first is our agent back office site, which is carrylevinson.com. That has up-to-the-date quote engines, forms, e-applications, drop tickets, e-policy delivery training. Like I mentioned uh, on the second slide of today's presentation, you can go to our YouTube channel, which is Levinson and the number one. There's about 65 different videos that go through every single piece of technology that's available to you. Also, the free agent website is available at insprofessional.com. That literally takes less than five minutes to get up and running. And again, that college scholarship platform that I talked about is a great marketing platform. On the second slide of the presentation, you can go to yourfreecollegescholarship.com to learn all about that. Again, that social media guide that we're going to email out is key. And our weekly training webinars that we have will kind of keep you up to date and keep you on the cutting edge of what's going on in the industry. And that's really what you know is important and that you have to kind of take away is that using all these tools that are already set up for you is going to save you a ton of time. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. We've already done that for you. We've already spent the time and money to put all these pieces together for you. Yeah, and, and, and Joe, let me say one thing too. What a great idea. I mean, it's holiday time right now. Okay, and what better way for you being an agent out there, okay, trying to differentiate yourself from the competition, you can send out an email blast or, or a mailer or both to all of your clients and prospects and say, hey, I just want to wish you a, a happy a holiday season, and because uh, we, we work together and because of our special relationship, I'm giving you a free $500 scholarship to any of these 317 colleges across the country with no obligation, no purchase necessary, just because I want to wish you a Merry Christmas or a Happy Hanukkah or New Year's. Okay, that's a great tool to get your foot in the door and tell your story. Okay, they have a certificate that you can sign off on. You can mail it to them or email it to them. They get their own online dashboard where they can retrieve their points and see what colleges are part of the program. And again, the, the key is to keep your name in front of these prospects and clients. And I'm, I'm going to give a quick example before we have our, our last slide here. I love this example because it's, it's real life, and it's happening right now whether you like it or not. The example is, let's just say I'm Bill Levinson. I'm the, the local insurance agent here in, in, in the city where I live in, in South Florida. And I have a neighbor, Lisa Smith who I sold a 10-year term to four years ago, okay? And Lisa knows I'm the, the neighborhood insurance guy. Always come to, to me for any, anything insurance-related. Okay, so I sell the policy, and four years goes by, and all of a sudden, Lisa needs a long-term care policy. And someone sent an email blast that talks all about long-term care and how it works and gives some sample premiums in this email blast. She has no idea who or, or why it came to her, but she just saw this great email. So Lisa picks up the phone and she calls uh, Matt Smith, who is the agent on this email blast, and says, hey, I saw your email blast come through and I'm interested in hearing more about long-term care. And Matt sets up an appointment and, and goes to Lisa's house and sits down with Lisa and makes the sale. It's 285 bucks a month and, and Matt writes her and, and her husband a, a new long-term care policy. Okay? So now I run into Lisa at the grocery store Bill Levinson, and I, I sold her her life insurance policy four years ago. And I say, hey, Lisa, how are you? She says, great, how are you? I said, great. And she goes, you know, I, I just bought one of these long-term care policies. And I say, oh, really? Who, who did you buy it from? Oh, I bought it from Matt Smith, who sent me an email blast. Matt Smith, Lisa, you know I'm the local insurance agent, and I'm your neighbor, 
and I sold you your term policy. And she goes, oh my gosh, Bill, I'm so sorry. I had no idea that you sold long-term care as well. And I said, yes, Lisa, that's, I sell all kinds of insurance. I told you this four years ago. And she goes, oh, Bill, I'm sorry. You know, I don't remember four years ago. She goes, I can barely remember where I live at night. But guess what? Bill Levinson is guilty of not keeping his name in front of his clients. If Bill Levinson would have sent out a monthly email blast that said, hey, it's me, your local life insurance, long-term care, disability, insurance agent, Lisa would have got that email from Matt and said, wait a minute, I'm not buying from Matt. Bill is the local long-term care agent. Let me give Bill a call. And I would have got the sale instead of Matt. That's a perfect real-life example. And this stuff is happening every single day, I promise you, okay, whether you like it or not, it's happening to your clients, trust me, okay? So one more thing I'll mention, then we'll, we'll end the call. I remember 15, 20 years ago, when I, when I came into the business, I'm 38, and I came in at 22 years old, and, and I said to my father, I said, Dad, you know, we really need a, a website, and, and we need to be able to have all of our forms online, and God, wouldn't it be great if we can email statuses on, on cases to our agents? And everybody looked at me like I was crazy. And they said, Bill, that's so expensive. What do we need a, a website for? You know, we, we do everything over the phone. It works great. And, and I said, I'm telling you, it's worth the investment. This is where things are going, OK? So it, as much as my dad didn't want to hear that, he accepted it, OK? And we built a website. Well, look at where we are today. So the long story short is if you have that kind of thinking where, where you're saying, you know what, what I'm doing now is working just fine. I don't want to change it. I guarantee you 10, 15 years from now, you're going to be shrinking, whether you like it or not. So I'm not saying you need to be a Bill Gates and use every single thing that we offer. OK, but you need to know the basics, especially we're here to help you. And we're not charging you for this stuff. And we're going to hold your hand every step of the way. This industry is always about changing. And that's exactly what you will need to do to keep moving forward and to be successful moving into the future. And that's my promise to you, OK? We're here to hold your hand every step of the way. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to call. And we're not going to stop here. We're going to come out with new tools and new technology as, as much as we can and as soon as it becomes available to our agents in this industry. With that said, thanks for joining us.